Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Unemployment numbers, we've been following them very closely. They're on the rise. And a catering company in the DMV it was actually facing that situation, laying off all of its employees until they switched gears overnight and they turned into a delivery service with meals for people who desperately need them. You know, two weeks ago, we started to see the cancellation of events and then it just came to a crashing halt. And what I quickly realized is that if I didn't come up with some sort of an idea or way to engage the community, uh, my people wouldn't have a job. So this is really not about me. This is not about me making money. This is about keeping my people working and doing good at the same time. Anyway. So what we, we partnered with United Way, uh, Good Greater Washington and Jubilee Housing. And we are uh, doing meals at a significantly reduced, reduced rate as well as free delivery to their residents. Yeah, so talk about the people who are actually getting the food and the meals that you all are preparing. These are people who desperately need the food as well. Correct. So with uh, Goodwill, they were actually feeding their teams that were working and staying open uh, during this crisis. Um, Jubilee Housing, we had people making donations uh, to their community, which is primarily in Adams Morgan. Um, I would say this tends to be a, uh, a, a group at risk in the sense that they are shift workers. And so their jobs have been impacted by this. And so needing food. And then lastly, United Way has partnered with many, many nonprofits within the region. And so those nonprofits have reached out to them and we've been able to provide meals for their, their guests. For you personally, does it do something to be able to help out the community? Because I know, I know that you're not saying it, but I know that this is a, it's gotta be a tough time for you as an entrepreneur as well. But does giving back kind of, kind of help some of the uncertainty right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, um, we're all in this boat together and there's really no easy answers. And for me, I'm just trying to make lemonade out of lemons. Um, I've got a kitchen. I've got people that want to work. I've got food. I've got distribution through my trucks. So it's a way that we can all benefit uh, uh, together. And we've seen the uh, unemployment rates that have been coming out. 3 million people out of a job. What have your employees said to you as they know that they're not one of those people? Um, you just see it on their faces. You know, I'm goosebumps when I say that to you now. Uh, coming in, the, you know, on a busy day, if this, you know, crisis wasn't happening, we would be doing 30 to 40 events a day. Uh, so that came to a crashing halt. Uh, and then um, to come in in the morning and see 30 plus orders hanging a full kitchen crew inside working, making those orders, the delivery team, the entire team out making deliveries throughout the entire region. Um, the office team is teleworking, taking orders, running all of the different things that we're, we're, we're offering the community uh, on our website. So for me, it's just really wonderful to see our, our team, our organization come together as a, as a true family that we are. And, uh, and they're getting hours instead of being home. And then we're providing nourishing meals to the community. Looking out long-term, since we don't really know what the future's holding right now, how long will it take you to bounce back from the loss that we've seen in March, April, maybe beyond that? Ooh, that's a tough question. Uh, what I would say is, is that um, we're preparing for the long haul and and uh we are we are planning to enhance our services later this week uh we're going to be offering grocery delivery as well as prepared foods um we're doing alcohol with our meals so to keep people hydrated is very important wine is a nice fruit drink to stay hydrated with <laughs> but the other side i really don't know um, and by that i mean what i wonder uh, is let's just assume the the government lifts the the sheltering uh are are people really going to want to get together in groups mm. and want to entertain you know or a gala of 300 people my hope is we will um but i just don't know yeah. I heard that josh had mentioned Josh had mentioned, as you heard in that story, the grocery delivery. They're actually starting that this week. They're teaming up with Central Farm Markets to help deliver groceries to people who right now cannot leave their house. That is available on their website. Kristen?